then account number 123456789 then current account this is just only an example save then click new so now we have account details form to input our accounts okay next we will create a query for because we will make a transaction form so instead of table i will make a query as our transaction form record source i will double click this id then sort ascending then transaction date particulars payable amount then paid amount then description then here I will put some calculation I will put the alias line total I will use this method so that if I will type in Z this is to avoid any error if no record or blank in Z tab then our field which is payable payable amount then close bracket less in Z then open bracket then paid amount amount close bracket then we'll close our in Z key I will hit OK then here account number so I will save this one to query transactions okay before when we create a form so we we'll just only select this table go to create and click this form so now same process but instead of table we will use this query just select this query go to create then here more forms we will choose this multiple items just click this one then automatically it will generate our field text box I will delete this one then I will delete, delete also okay I will keep as is then here transaction ID I will delete transaction date I will modify this For we'll adjust and here also I will adjust I will put closer then I will just copy the font or the color
I will paste here. Then I will change to white particulars. I will put here description payable amount. Here line total. delete also line total put in here transaction I will put also then account number I will change to text box then like total again I will adjust here so I will see if this is transactions this is the name of our form then Just mod description payable amount. Then I will be this one is a balance. Then here it amount. In here, payable amount. Then I need to put also here label. So this is Kamayoko. This is our default. I will change the label name to LBL current account so that whatever we will select account it will show here also into our label do go to design then here add existing I will add account here again I will change to white then select account then here we will change to combo box or CBO select account so here we will delete this one We will make it unbound, but the resource is our account. Look. So every time we will select this one, automatically it will update 
also our label caption here. Then we'll modify this way transaction the particulars. Then here since we are selecting the source I will add here source payable here payment or partial payment so you can put any or you can add also here loan or loan amortization you can put any sources of fun or collectibles then here we'll modify the name to CBO transaction source or T source here we will keep as is and here also P the amount and here we need to modify to run balance so this is a running balance here but in order to execute our ransom so we need to add some module so to make this video fast so instead by writing because it take time for me to input so we'll just only copy and paste so i will go to view here i'll just select then right click then module now i will copy this is our module i will copy that one and we will insert to our I will make it wider because we will add our function run sum then we put first form then comma so the key name is the transaction ID so trans section id in double quote then the field which is again will type transaction id then the line total line total then we'll close I, just, I will copy that one because I will insert also here I will modify the control source just only just copy then 
Top. So next is we'll put some code here on loop to something here on loop. We'll put some code. 